So these are the pistons removed from the bent axis piston pump. We had lots of shuddering going on, so we, we realised something wasn't going right. So this there's actually a, se a set of seven pistons that fit into that barrel there. Um, as you can see, this one here doesn't have any piston rings at all. This one's piston rings are looking really sad. These ones not so good either. These ones look a little bit abused. Um, they're all a bit sad. So this was actually creating lots of pulses. So some pistons were actually creating pressure, some were not creating pressure at all. So you were having, we had a lot of shuddering, enough shuddering to actually make the entire engine and gearbox assembly vibrate quite violently. Uh, as I said before, this is actually what they call a, uh, a live drive. So this actually bolts, this, this is what the, what the main housing is. And this actually bolts into the back of the engine with this, with this drive adapter here. If I can get that in. There we go. So that bolts into the engine. And it actually bolts into part of the timing system on the back of the engine. And this pump runs continuously. While the engine is running, this pump is running. Um, but to make that happen, there's some, there's some tricky stuff that goes on. So if you look in there, that's the actual, that's the actual drive. And that's constantly driving. And inside there, these pistons actually go into there. All right. And then this barrel also fits in. So these pistons go in here. There's a special spring tensioner that goes in there. So those gears there fit onto those gears there. So as that rotates, that rotates. But because these are actually in, as it rotates, it creates, you know, in and out pressure. Yeah, so at one location, they're actually sucking, and at another location, they're actually being pressed in. Obviously, these are a bit shag, so I can't really show you very well. But in that position, these are coming out and sucking, and in another position, down the bottom there, they're being, they're being pushed in. All right, so in one position they're in, and in another position they're out. So they're creating a, a suction and pressure, but the pistons are shagged, so it hasn't been creating much pressure at all. So that actually fits in there. And then you've got a valve plate that fits on there. And then you've got the spring tension that pushes down, that keeps the valve plate rotating. On there. The tricky part though that allows this pump to constantly run while the engine is running is this part here which is the bypass system. So you've got a suction and a discharge. So this is a very light bypass spring. So normally when the system isn't running, when the system is running but not asking it to do any, to create any pressure, it's creating suction here, pressure's coming out here, pressure can't go anywhere, so it actually goes in into the bypass system and then some of it recycles back into the suction port and some of it actually bleeds off back to tank. So you've constantly got a re replenishment of oil yeah. and this is happening constantly while the engine's running. This cartridge valve here it has a solenoid coil on here. When you energize that 
coil, what happens is it opens a, an oil chamber and then sends oil to the top of, of this bypass valve. So it actually pushes the valve closed. So when the valve is closed, there is no more circulation anymore and then this becomes the pressure line. Then can, you can then send pressure to make something work. So quite simple but quite clever. Um, so if this was to fail for whatever reason, it fails in the safe recycle position. Um, rotation change is as simple as going from that position to that position. So if that engine is running, if some engines run clockwise and some engine run counterclockwise, depending also where you mount this, on an engine or on a gearbox, that's that's the rotation change, literally that. Going from there through 180 degrees to there, and that's your rotation change. So it's quick and easy. Um, these pumps are good for up to about 5,000 psi, so a bit overkill for a, a tipper application, because most tippers don't need more than about two and a half to 2,800 psi. So um, anyway, uh, I think this pump's been running for over 10 years. Uh, who knows how many millions of cycles it's actually done, how many millions of times these have actually gone up and down in that chamber. So that's a Ben Axis piston pump. The guys, quite clever. Uh, high volume, this is an 81cc per revolution pump. So it's quite a, quite a large volume as well. And I get a bit overkill for a, a tipper application. Better, you'll see these more on cranes, um, hook bin trucks, something where there's multiple cylinders uh, higher loads and higher pressure required. So um, that's it. Hope this helped. Um, bent access, bent access piston pump.